Destro goes in alone. Destro's back on the attack. Out to conquer the world on his own. Who needs Cobra? With my demon and the Iron Grenadiers, neither Joe nor Cobra are a match for me. Yo, Joe! But nobody beats the Iron Joe, the real American hero. Coming up on Crossfire Collectibles, the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 132, Iron Grenadier. Stick around. What's up and welcome to Crossfire Collectibles. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the G.I. Joe Classified Series number 132, the Iron Grenadier. Well, we finally got them. Although it is the second figure marked with the Iron Grenadier stamp, uh, it's cool. I mean, you figured we would get either Destro or the Troopers first. We got Metalhead, which I have no complaints about. He was great. But um, we're finally getting our troop builders, our main ones, and here we have the Iron Grenadier. So uh, they've been popping up in Walmarts across the country for a while. They're not even released by Hasbro yet, which is crazy. Well, Hasbro Pulse anyway. Um, I had a couple ordered on Amazon, and I ended up finding these actually in the Walmart store. So I grabbed a pair of them and we also grabbed the Iron Grenadier bat, which we will review uh, probably maybe Tuesday. But anyway, this video is for the Iron Grenadier and here it is. So let's check out the box. You have the black and blue carbon fiber. There's your Iron Grenadier logo with the Cobra behind it. So you have your classified series Cobra Iron Grenadier off to the side. QR code if you'd like to scan it. There's some stats. Around to the back, here you have the Iron Grenadier standing with, uh, looks like a bat army back here, pretty cool. Um, looks like Castle Destro. You see some Destro flags hanging, which is pretty awesome. Uh, there you have some stats again. Here you have a close up of the Iron Grenadier's patch on the shoulder. He has his sash right here, kind of a nice close up of that, which looks pretty good. Around to this side, here is the artist render, and I gotta say, this looks great. 132 at the bottom. You can see at the bottom here, 132 and Cobra at the top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this open. But first, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> All right, so I will have a total of four of these and I'm gonna go ahead and pass two off to uh, Mel over at where I got figured. He asked me if he could grab a couple from me, so I said, sure, uh, here's some crap. So um, I'm not true building these, but I do want at least two for myself, and I'll probably end up getting one from Pulse in my order. So I'll have three. I can open two and throw the others, you know, out in storage or something. But anyway, here is the Iron Grenadier in the plastic dungeon, and he looks pretty cool. Uh, if it were me, I probably would have went with black pants, or maybe made an Iron Grenadier officer, you know, gave it some different colors. But overall, this is pretty nice. Quite a few accessories in here. So um, let's go ahead and get them all out and we'll go over them one by one. All right, so here we go. We have all the accessories out to the side. So let's go ahead and start with our heavy machine gun here. And as you can see, this is all black, uh, reused obviously. It has some different color additions to it. You know, you have this bipod up front in red, which looks pretty good. So it fits with the uh, Iron Grenadier uniforms. And uh, here you have this large ammo barrel up in the front. So all right on there. You can detach it and plug it in however you like it. You have the bullets painted in a metallic gold. Hold the ammo barrel for blast effect. Um, you got a couple little, extra little handle up here. There's your stock. Uh, basic, but it looks nice in them colors. So there's that. Next up, we have the submachine gun that the magazine actually fell out of but also reuse and just repainted all black. And you put the red up in the front right here for this extra drop down grip, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, double barrel at the end. Um, they do fit blast effects if they're small enough. And you have the removable magazine as you just saw. So I like the addition of this, it's pretty nice. Next, moving on. And here we have, I guess this is a laser blaster. So if you're up to date on the Skybound comics, um, Destro has been experimenting with Energon and they now are putting it into weapons such as a laser blaster as Mercer uh, demonstrated for Cobra Commander, which is pretty nice. So anyways, you have this all black. It has that gold metallic plate at the top here. 
you have a scope, no hole at the barrel, but this looks pretty cool. Moving on, we have his pistol. So, a little different, but so we've seen it before. All black, kind of has that little cylinder at the top here. And no hole at the barrel for a blast effect, but it looks pretty nice. It fits in with the Iron Grenadier pretty good, I think. Now we have his sword and sheath. So here you have it right here. Kind of an officer sheath, um, just remolded and repainted you know, from the Crimson Guard. You have all gold in here, black handle. There's your cobra at the top. Sheath, all black with the gold plate at the bottom. There's your peg in the back. And you slide the sword in, and there you go. And then the final accessory, we have his helmet. So a little different than the classic Iron Grenadier helmet we've seen. Um, yes, it is this typical dome helmet right here. You have this gold dress piece at the top. Uh, believe the other ones didn't well, they weren't hollow this one's hollow in there looks pretty nice so if they did take a route of you know doing some different uniforms for these i guess based on rank then um you could mix them up you know put a red one put a silver one definitely change the paint color on them but pretty cool so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the figure and here it is so it looks pretty nice you got that dress uniform you know it actually hangs down has these tails on it it's pretty nice uh, dual belt, I believe they're attached. Yes, they are. The sash, very Iron Grenadier-ish. The sash itself um, pretty much stands out the most, I think. So you have the black sash with the gold on it and then the red on the inside. Uh, that looks really nice. Uh, get a close-up of some of his pins. All right. Lapel pins and little collar pins. Uh, he's got that skull belt buckle down here. Um, there's this extra holster on the back of the sash here that, so I can hold uh, probably one of those weapons. I'm going to go with probably this laser blaster. Um, you have the th second holster down here on his belt on the back. I kind of like how they're hidden in the back. It's pretty cool. Um, look the rest of them over. Pretty basic. I see a lot of reused parts. But anyway, head's new. <laughs> so let's check out the articulation. Head's on a ball joint. Rotate a full 360. It can move down, up, a little bit side to side. So not not the best articulation up there on that head. A um, little bit of range of motion in the neck, not much at all. Uh, the sash is removable, so all you have to do is pretty much unpeg that back, and you can take it off. But I'm just going to leave it on. Um, we'll check out the arms. So up at the shoulders, there's that hinge to allow the arm to go that far up. You have butterfly joints. Arms can do a full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows. You see he's got the black elbow pad on the back, used pretty frequently, these arms were. Uh, down at the hands, you have the hinge pig, which will allow them to do a full 360, and these will angle down and up. For the left side, they go out and in. Now, ab crunch should be no problem. Yep, that far forward and that far back. Waist swivel. So down at the lower portion, up at the hips, you have drop leg. Leg can go forward about that far. Back with these tails coming down about that far and out to the side about that far if you're pushing up. Thigh rotation. Double jointed pinless knees. So he's got black boots at the bottom of the gray pants. There's a swivel right here at the top of them. I like how they come up on the side. Kind of has a different texture than we've seen before, so that's pretty cool. Um, likely used. I'm not sure off the top of my head who they were with, but still, I like them. Uh, down at the ankles, you have hinge to allow the foot to go that far forward. Crack and bait, go that far up and then side to side pivot. So not bad articulation, um, pretty limited. He's a little stiff uh, due to these tails, the legs can't do much. The head doesn't have too much range of motion completely around. It's a little bit of a bummer, but still, I just planned on having him stand there. So that's okay with me. Check out his stability. Seems pretty good. So now uh, let's go ahead and gear him up. 
So we're gonna go ahead and take our sword sheath, move this arm back, and you have that hole right here on the side of the dress jacket flaps. So we'll go ahead, plug that sheath into it, right, like, just like that. So that's good to go. Um, I could have him holding it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna do something else with him. So spin him around to the back. I'd like to use this laser blaster here, but we're gonna slide it in the back and see how that looks. And that looks pretty good. Uh, we'll come down to the pistol holster and slide that in right there. So that works. And then I'm not gonna give him the heavy gun. I'm gonna go ahead and give him the little SMG. Just kind of have him standing there you know, at attention. Uh, it looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and bring that helmet in. And there we go. And that helmet makes the figure, I think, personally. That looks great on it. So very, very cool. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and try to give him a little bit of a different pose. I'm not sure what, but if we were to dip this, pull this out, I would definitely think that, you know, he'd be testing out this blaster. Maybe doing something, I'm not sure. Put the hand down here on the uh, on the sword. You see, move it around a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Popped out actually, but go ahead and shove that back in. Just want to get his hand on it. Something like that. Crack these knees a bit. And, you know, just kind of have him like he's going to action. So pretty nice. Uh, we're not going to do too much with him. Um, I have another one. I'm probably going to pop out, but uh, I'm going to do that off camera. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out just a, an end pose for this, and I'll do something with him later. But we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to toss him on the turntable and give you some final thoughts. G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Be sure to check out our previous videos. A link will always be pinned in the comments. Back to G.I. Joe. All right, so here you have it. The G.I. Joe Classified Series, number 132, the Iron Grenadier. Very cool figure. He looks great. Uh, I think the, um, the overcoat, that, you know, that kind of makes the figure stand out quite a bit more than I was expecting. Um, I like the lower flaps. I think they're pretty good. You, know, you got the all black with the red trim running around them. Uh, the sash is pretty much almost... 100% accurate to the OG Iron Grenadiers. I like the addition of the holster on the back to be able to hold the laser blaster. Uh, the swords, you know, you gotta have the sword off, obviously, with the Iron Grenadier, and it's in the gold color to match, you know, their standard armor type. Uh, the helmet and head, um, they look great together. They really, really stand the figure out to look like the OG Iron Grenadiers that we were used to. Uh, the additions of the extra weapons are pretty cool. I still think maybe we should have got some type of a uh, little red blaster, some kind of crazy looking thing, but, you know, Maybe in time, if they do take this figure and give them different uniforms. Uh, th although this is the troop builder, the main Iron Grenadier, I do see them doing an officer, uh, maybe maybe something else, maybe something higher in them rankings, but I do see them doing quite a few of them. Same what they did with the Bats and the Cobra Troopers and the uh, Vipers, of course. But overall, this is a great figure. Um, check your Walmarts. They are popping up everywhere. They popped up uh, a little over a month ago. And um, that was all over the country, but they're starting to hit the East Coast pretty pretty rapidly, I think. So I was able to grab these, uh, these few, and um, we've got the bat coming up. We're going to check him out next, so be sure to tune in for that. And uh, until then, I think that's going to do it. So if you like what you saw, please, like always, leave that giant thumbs up. Subscribe. Tickle that bell so you're notified when we post future videos. Be sure to follow us on social media. And until then, we will see you in the next one. Peace.